what we're going to be doing now is i'm going to be unbraiding these i don't know what you call them but in my language they're called vikuti then while we do that i'll be sharing some tips on how you can love yourself more so let's get into it Number one, you have to know yourself. Invest in discovering what you believe in. Definitely, if you know yourself more and you love yourself, it will be easy for you to love anyone. I mean, anyone or anything. So love yourself first, then you can share it. I've discovered that a lot of people tend to love others more than themselves. It's not a bad thing, but it gets to be a bad habit when you don't love yourself because I feel it's fake. How do you love someone else without loving yourself first? Like, what are you sharing? Number two is say no when needed to. Say no when needed to. Okay, boundaries. Hold up. There. That's your place. Okay, you have to have boundaries because they're very essential for self-care. You deserve respect okay you deserve respect and if they're not willing to give it to you because of how you're behaving then my friend you're the one with the problem say no it's easy to say no trust me the moment you say no you feel relieved i used to have a habit of saying yes i was a yes person anything yes anything yes anything yes anything yes but now shorty let's no shorty let no I'm not going to comb through my hair because it's it's stubborn and I don't want to spoil it with breakage. But while I'm about to tell you other tips, let's get into braiding the mkule. Cord corners. <laughs> so we're going to be doing corners. I think I'll make them a little bit bigger because time. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, I'm going to be putting my hair in a week so you know what's underneath i'm exposing every lady out there but this is what happens and this is what goes on others are blessed with friends who can you know break there but i'm blessed with my hands and i can do it on my own but after that i'll be having a touch of a little bit of concealer and foundation on my face and vaseline and it's a get ready with me so you know okay so we're done with one and i think five more to go i don't know how long it's going to take but while we're doing that let's get to tip number three of you loving yourself right now i'm basically loving myself because i'm doing this for me i'm gonna be looking cute number three don't compare yourself to others it's not that you're better than others or you're worse than others or others are better than you and you know no one is perfect and one thing you should know is we are all different literally different so we are all special in our own way so don't compare yourself to any other person because your beauty is your beauty and only you has it now i feel like i'm preaching but anyway you get the point one thing i've discovered about um doing my hair is I really don't care how the back looks like because if my wig were to fall, if it was about to fall, I would save it before it reaches the back of the back. But everyone will see the corners in front and be like, okay, at least she's in corners, you get? But for the back, uh, it's okay. Or maybe it's because I can't even see behind, so I know it's just for the rough. I don't have a wig cap, so this makes my wig slick and oh. painting but point number four give yourself plenty of healthy treats you don't have to earn it honestly you don't have to earn it to give yourself treats treat yourself well okay if it means eating healthy eat healthy because 
just because okay you 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 worth it so you can do that as well other half and we're about to be done with this side and Shadi's head will be slick and small slick and small slick and small the fifth tip of you loving yourself and it goes like be honest with yourself honestly be honestly with yourself be honest with yourself okay true self-love means taking responsibility and accountability of everything you do okay don't promise if you can't keep your promise don't say I will when you can't don't say I'll do when you won't do the thing you say. Okay, I'm feeling like a rapper right now. How you feel? <laughs> if you won't manage to do the thing that you've promised somebody else, say I can't. I can't do this. I will do this. I can't do that. Don't say I will and don't. I barely promise because I used to give a lot of promises. Like I promise, I promise, I promise. And I never used to do the promises because promises are meant to be broken. But the word promise itself means you will actually do it and give that person your word. But if you don't do it, then you're not being honest with yourself and with the other person that's unfair so be honest with yourself then just showing yourself some love honestly just showing yourself some love we are getting somewhere and we are almost done with these corners i can't wait because my hands are in pain and we're done with the cornrows we are done with the cornrows <sighs> finally that was i've got a small head like an egg or something let me share with you tip number six forgive yourself many are the times when we wrong ourselves because even just by lying we're wronging ourselves forgive yourself and you will love yourself period self-explanatory so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be laying down the edges that i don't have but they are there somewhere i use <sighs> cut sby it doesn't work for natural hair but it works on edges that are relaxed that does it doesn't make sense even to me but it works it, I found it to be working more than any other thing because India doesn't have the echo gel and you have to order it online and it is damn as expensive so I use this and it works it does so we're going to be laying down edges and who doesn't lay down edges with a toothbrush mm -hmm. typical African we use toothbrushes to lay down edges sometimes we use comb there is a specific thing they use for edges i don't know what it's called please comment down in the section box what it's called but i would rather use you know a toothbrush because that's what i know that's what i used to do in high school and i'm not laying them down that much because you know how we do I can't no you guys this is serious I can't lay ages okay I don't have ages so it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay Shwari it's okay you don't have to please nobody it's for me if they turn out the way I like them I like them I don't care what you say I don't care because I love myself My edges have grown. I never had edges starting from somewhere here, like this. My sister Betha used to laugh at me all the time. Because she'd be like, why are you even brushing? You've even made a cap ponytail. <laughs> I have no edges for crying out loud. Okay, you know what? I give up. I've done what I can do. So what are we going to do next? <laughs> 
face next we're going to be applying some a bit of foundation on my face because i'm too oily i'm too much of an oily person and it's sunday so i'm not going anywhere remember this you remember check out my video on the gifts i got for my birthday i have them here so why do i have i have a brush remember i had a makeup kit i have brushes i don't know what's that okay i have a sponge highly need this i have foundation bruh yeah i have a base i have this foundation foundation okay i think that's all we use for today i think that's all we use for today so let's get into the facial making well i give you point number six oh number seven sorry accept that some people won't love you period some people won't love you people will be haters okay people will be haters and haters will always be there just know that people will always talk people will always hate period girl period <laughs> period number eight make fun a priority on your agendas every day while you write i know some of you are so creative like you write no today i'll sleep i'll eat i'll what i don't do that i don't do that honestly i don't but make fun something that you will do every day if it means do what makes you happy making videos makes me happy i'm doing it right now i'm having fun because i'm speaking to myself so let's go in with them i don't know how to do this but anyway anyway let's do it the way i do it when you people don't see me I think I'm going to do the rest off camera. Boom! And now that I'm back, I bet you can see that my skin is looking flawless. You know how we do. What we're going to be doing next is I'm going to be putting on my wig. Then later on, we can change into our cute outfit. Then voila! But while we do that, let's talk about point number nine of loving yourself. Number nine: speak kindly to yourself. Others are just so rude. How do you tell yourself like you're childish? Okay, I do that. I'm like I'm childish and I'm away. But speak kind to yourself. You won't allow anyone to speak less. When you speak, you tell yourself you're beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. Not that you told me. No, no, I, I, I got a mirror, baby. I got a mirror. I got a mirror. And I see myself, okay? Because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. And so are you. So tell yourself you're beautiful. You won't allow anyone to tell you you are ugly. Because what's ugly? I, I've never seen anybody ugly, honestly. No, honestly, I have never seen anyone ugly. But you're all beautiful and you're created differently. So don't let anyone tell you less because you tell yourself more. Now, a lot of you have seen this week on my pictures, you know, my posts. It's, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing much because it's a handmade week. Let's get into the week, the week, the week, the week. Eh. Now, I don't know you guys who go fancy hair bands, but I am so childish, I told you. So, I have this babyish hair bands like period i wasn't a fan of weaves until i found out they can make your life easy especially like when you're running for class and you just put it on and style it any way you feel sometimes i put on this wig just like this okay just like this but i feel it disturbs my concentration because all the time i have to be you get and oh look at that way oh I have to like um you know make it all cute but at the same time not disturb me because i'm doing something serious more serious what we do is we'll make that side part there oh i like 
know it's coming on. I know you do too. So let's drop it a little bit. And voila. Now if you if I want sometimes I go out like this, but you know just add some dash and pop so that it doesn't move. I actually add my pretty pretty leopard print band. Okay. So do that. Then we do this. Okay. Because we can. Like that. And now I can shake my head. And there you have it. Cute, cute, cute. I mean, okay, so I know I look like some Disney character Elsa <laughs> or Emily or something, but yeah, we'll be back for a quick change. Hi. What's your name again? <laughs> and this is our final look. But for the last thing we can do is add a little bit of Vaseline on the lips, you know, just to pop it up a little bit. And there you have it. And for the last point is surround yourself with people who treat you with respect and people who you actually deserve. So yeah, that's all I had for my video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye. Thank you.